Okay, so I just made a video about making choices and ending relationships, and I forgot to mention something that was enormously huge. So, pretty much all the decisions we make in life, and the choices we make in life, come from what we experienced in childhood, right? So, if we're raised a certain way, if we're raised by abusive people, um, if our parents were neglectful, if our parents believed in a certain thing, or we experienced a lot of trauma, we're going to carry a self-worth with us throughout the rest of our life. We're going to feel that we're a certain person. We're going to feel a certain way about ourselves. We're going to feel we're not good enough or we need to latch on to people we can't be alone we feel lonely whatever those things are and we carry those feelings those inner child feelings out of childhood into adulthood and pretty much all of the choices we make are because of those experiences we had in inner childhood, as a child, how we were raised, how we were treated. Because how we were raised and how we were treated makes us feel a certain way about ourselves in, in current day. So all of our decisions based on how we feel about self, how we feel about ourselves, will be based on how we think about ourselves. And our confidence will come from that. And we'll be able to get over things quicker. So say I have a, a crush on this girl named Zuhuli. And uh, and I have a great deal of self-worth and feeling like I'm good enough and I'm worthy of love because of the way I was raised. If I was raised very uh, with love, if I was raised by loving parents, I will have a feeling inside me of confidence, feeling that I am worthy of love. I do, you know, I, I do deserve to have a great life. I am good enough then I'll take on greater things because I feel like I'm worthy of greater things and I'm worthy to be with loving people people that will treat me good because I feel like I should be treated good right? but if I was raised by you know a-holes that were not nice people and said, you know, mean things to me, or put me down, or abused me emotionally, mentally, or neglected me of feelings of love and, and caring, then I'm most likely going to feel bad about myself. And um, not only will I attract abusive people that are hurtful, I will also maybe think that's all I'm capable of getting. Or maybe it'll be so familiar to me being treated that way because I was treated that way throughout my entire childhood that I'll latch on to somebody like that because that feeling is familiar to me. How I'm being treated by this new person is familiar to me because that's how I view relationships. Um, so it's very interesting. And that has a lot to do with the choices we make throughout our lives. Um, yeah, right on. Because I filmed that video 20 minutes ago, and, it, and at first I thought it was a good video. And I watched it, and I was like, no, man, holy cow, did you forget, you know, the inner child? And how that inner child and how we're treated in childhood affects every pretty much every decision we make and how we think about ourselves.
throughout our entire life unless we heal from that trauma. And if you were raised in a very abusive, neglectful home or, uh, you know, had a lot of trauma growing up, one way to make better choices in the present is to heal that past trauma, that past abuse, that past neglect. And if you want to figure out how to do that, go back and watch Figuring Out Depression 1, Figuring Out Depression 2 on this playlist that I made. And um, I list a bunch of people underneath that can help you with that um, healing process. But know that your choices throughout life are really because of how you were treated in childhood and the experiences that you went through in childhood. Alright guys, have a great day. Thank you so much. Peace!